Hi everybody, welcome back to another segment of Healthy Living with the YMCA of Metropolitan Dallas. My name is Shannon Mayer and today I have with me Tracy Burns, Director of Healthy Lifestyles with the YMCA. And today we are going to talk about Rethink Your Drink. Shannon, can you share a little bit about how we're going to rethink our drink today? Absolutely, I'd love to. One of the things that's recommended in a healthy diet is not to go over 24 grams of added sugar in a day. So Tracy, let's talk about this real quick and let's even give a sample. 24 grams of added sugar is actually six teaspoons. Tracy, could you measure out six teaspoons for us? Sure. One, One two, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect, thank you. If you notice, there's actually a black mark already there for us. It's showing us approximately 24 grams of added sugar. So we're going to take a look at some popular items here. The first one is a sports drink. Tracy, could you tell us the added sugar in this sports drink? Sure. Well, serving size is one bottle. Okay. I, I learned that from the last segment. Um, added sugars is 21 grams of added sugar for this sports drink. Mm -hmm. But Shane, I thought this was a healthy. I mean, you're exercising, you drink Powerade. I thought this was a healthy drink. Okay, let's even think about how sports drink came about. Sports drink came about when people were out and they were sweating away their electric lights. Most of us are not sweating away our electric lights. And Tracy, let me ask you, how many grams is 21 away from our maximum amount in a day? Three grams away. So I that means... Three so, grams left in my, my sugar savings account. Yes, for <laughs> your whole day. So that means all your food and all your other drinks, all you've got left is three. So this is not m much nutrition or liquid to go in your diet for the day because you're hitting almost your maximum amount. Yeah. Hmm, what else could you drink instead of this, your sports drink? Water. Water, perfect answer. And Shane, can you tell the audience what is the difference between the added sugars and total sugar? Yes, great question. So most of our drinks and our food has natural occurring sugar. For example, fruit. You have fruit, fruit has natural sugar in it. And what has happened with many of our drinks is they have added sugar into them and they've added sugar into our food. And that is where we get our total amount of sugar. And since you mentioned that, let's talk about a fruit drink. Okay. Let's talk about this one. Original cranberry juice cocktail, 100% vitamin C. It looks very um, healthy. So four servings per container. Serving size is eight ounces. So for eight ounces, I get 23 grams of added sugar. So again, we're running into almost the same issue we have with our sports drink. You're so. at your daily allotted amount of added sugar in one eight ounce serving. What could you do, have, instead of drinking the cranberry juice, what could you actually do? I could eat some cranberries. Right. Eat fruit. Instead of drinking fruit juice that has the added sugar, eat the real fruit and then go to water. So and what we're going to look at now are some other popular items we might actually have in a day, many of us. For example, this one actually has no caffeine. Hmm, this might be a little healthier than something with caffeine in it. What's the added sugar in this one, Tracy? Serving size, one bottle, at 64 grams of added sugar. For this one small bottle of root beer? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wow. We're at two and a half times the recommended daily amount of added sugar. So now, let's see, for many of us that we love our soda, what's the added? And I know some people that drink about four of these a day. Ooh. So let's see how much sugar they're drinking. Serving size, one bottle, and they have the big one, the big bottle. So for this size, 55 grams of added sugar just for this small 16 ounce. And if you're going through the drive-thru and you're getting the large or your super size me or the, uh, the extended amount at a refill, um, you are way over your added sugar in a day. Okay, well, let's think about these two. These look a little healthier. Let's start with our orange. Orange. 100% natural flavor, caffeine-free, orange. I do see the word soda, so it probably tips mm. me off. <gasps> 72 grams of added sugar. Oh, my goodness, for this one bottle. Yep. That's more than the, the soda, yep. the regular soda. Yep. 
Wow. Okay, so not, not the best choice. Not okay, let's try choice. this one. There's a lot of fruit on the front of this one. Lots of fruit. Fruit punch made with real fruit juice. Okay. Serving size, two, two and a half servings for this. So if I drink just one serving, it would be 28 grams of sugar for eight ounces. Okay. Now, most people, when they pick up a bottle like this, they're not measuring out their eight ounces. They're going to drink the whole bottle. And unfortunately, when you drink this whole bottle, it's actually 66 grams of added sugar. Not the best choice. Not the best choice. Not the best choice. So one more that we have, this one actually looks like it could be really good for us. It has a lot of fruit on the yeah, front. It's very healthy. It's yeah. telling me superior hydration, natural flavors, coconut water, electrolytes, antioxidants. B vitamins, it has to be good for us, Shannon. It right. has to be. Has to be. What's the added sugar, Tracy? Oh, serving size is 12 ounces. It's actually 44 grams of 44 sugar. 44 grams of sugar. I gotta take that away. 40, 44 grams of sugar. But isn't this very misleading? It's very misleading. Marketing. Marketing. Because if I see this, I am more apt to purchase this because it looks healthier for me. That's why. Reading your food label is so important. Yes. So my challenge to you today is as you go out, turn your food labels around, look at your added sugar, rethink your drink. And I have a question before we close. Sure. Let's say I just really crave carbonation. Okay. I, I, I don't necessarily need the flavor, but I just want that little sparkly fizz. Mm -hmm. What would you recommend? Well, have you ever tried seltzer or water? Um, I have. That's what I was saying. That's a great, great advice. I love That's seltzer good. water. Okay. You can add a little lemon slice to it, add a lime slice to it, and then you've got something refreshing. You've got your carbonation that you love, and it's, it's really much better for you than any of these. You've rethought your drink when you choose seltzer. And I, I have discovered, though, there are some seltzer waters that can trick you. You mm -hmm. think that they're seltzer, just carbonated water, but they have a lot of calories and sugar in them as well. So you so. need to turn the label around and take a look at that label and see what the added sugars are. Thank you so much. So it's all great information. Okay. And don't forget, rethink your drink.